Hello guys, here is a new Unity video for beginners in which I show you how to add a UI button to a canvas and then react in a C Sharp script on clicking the button. I start with an empty Unity project, this is Unity 2018 and the first thing I add is a UI canvas. The canvas is a kind of transparent plane over your screen in 2D to which you can add UI components and I will add a button. Therefore, I right click the canvas and choose UI button. You can move the button around on your canvas. You can also anchor it, for example, here to the top of the canvas. But this is not a tutorial about layouting UI. I will go more into detail in one of the next videos. Okay, now we have that button, and the button consists of the button itself and a child component of type text. The text can be changed here in the inspector, for example, let's use my text. What you can also do to make this button look a bit more interesting is to change the colors. There is a normal color, this is the default color, then there is a highlight, a pressed and a disabled color. You can see the effect of my modifications when I start the game and then for example press the button. But what I want to do in this tutorial is to change the text of the button dynamically by using a c -sharp script. To do this, first add a new c -sharp script, of course, and I call this button handler. Ok, then double click this script and it will be opened in Visual Studio, if Visual Studio is your current editor. Ok, here we go, we don't need the start and update method here. So let's remove it, but add a new method called setText. It has one parameter of type string, and for this we will pass the text that we're going to set for the button. So we want to set the text for the UI text component, so we have to include or to use the namespace unityengine.ui, and then we have to find the child component called text of the button, because the button, as I mentioned, contains an object called text that has a text component of type text. So what we have to do is to get this component of type text, then we could for example assign it to a local variable, and then finally assign the text parameter to the text property of this component. Ok, that's it, now you can select the button, and then add an onClick event, and here you assign the button that has the button handler attached. And for the button handler you find the method setText. Then you can use this text box here to define the parameter of the setText function and I set this here to new text. Now when I start and click the button, the text is set to new text. If you like, you can go ahead and copy this button by pressing Ctrl and D. And for the parameter, we could use a different text. Let's be creative. New text 2. Ok guys, that's it for the button click tutorial for beginners to Unity. I really hope you like it and you find it useful. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support this channel and help it grow, please think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and see you in the next one.